Hello there, hope you're all doing good. I am doing a little follow-up on my video from the last one I posted um, regarding the pain and strain I got in my neck from surfing and um, how I, you know, I got to remember to use my own essential oils on myself and I did. I used the Valor and the Panaway. Um, it started subsiding a little bit but then it got bad again and, um, and when it, pain in my body gets really bad, I resort to this book here emotional or release emotional patterns with essential oils and what I do is I go in the back and there's a chart here Let's see if I can find it quickly there's a chart here of the body and I've pinpoint where my pain is and then after I pinpoint where my pain is then I look up that pain point it's called an alarm point um, in this chart here and so my pain point here was my first rib. And so every pain point that where you're in pain stems from an emotion. And so it's really that emotion that you've got to deal with if you want to ultimately get rid of that pain that's in your body, wherever it is. And so, um, and I realized that because it wasn't going away and it was getting, it was getting kind of bad. So I'm like, okay, time to look it up time to deal with that emotion whatever's going on sometimes I don't know what's going on that's why I gotta look up where the pain point is and that alarm point will take you to a certain emotion so that pain point for my first rib took me to um, the emotion of manipulation which totally makes sense because recently I was hanging out with some guy and um, on my birthday he broke it off and flaked on out on me on my birthday via text so you guys out there have some balls and do it by phone not text just saying anyway um kind of led me on so i think ultimately i probably felt manipulated so what i did is i looked up um, the emotion after you look up the alarm point you go to the motion and look it up manipulation and it'll tell you the other way the other side of it out at the other side of the emotion which from manipulation it was for understanding and then it will suggest a certain oil and your way out of that emotion so um the oil for manipulation was basil so i went ahead and grabbed my basil and then what you do is i put um, a drop in my hand two drops went out oh well and you want to take your first two fingers and just go clockwise a couple times just to activate that oil to your energy because um, your energies, we all have energies and frequencies, and we attract or don't attract certain vibes from having these energies and frequencies, believe it or not. Um, so it's really good to know that and know that these essential oils could actually um, amp up your frequencies and vibes. So with that oil, and get back to this, um, to this little practice that I do, is what I do is I rub it in, give it a good smell in, and then I say my other um, my mantra which the book gave me which is um, I understand what is realistic and then you hit um, certain um, points here clearing emotional points and it's the front so I'm gonna go through this real quick and I was like I understand what is realistic I understand what is realistic I understand what is realistic I have here I understand what is realistic I understand what is realistic I understand what is realistic and then you're gonna go up behind um, on the filter points of the back of the head I understand what is realistic I understand what is realistic I understand what is realistic and what I do I'm kind of just massaging those points and trying to massage that oil that I've gotten in my hands I also take another whiff of it and then go on to that pain point where my pain point was right back here on the back of my neck. And because you know that pain point was already sensitive because I already had that manipulation going on. And so when that wave hit me, that's the point it decided to impact because that was the weak point within my body because of what was going on with my emotions. So um, I'm rubbing it right now with that basil. But as I usually rub it, I will say that mantra again. I understand what is realistic. 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 And I'm telling you within a day, 
that pain started going away. And so you do that mantra and that practice as much as you need to to get rid of that pain or emotion that you're dealing with. And this is how um, I dealt with my breakup that was traumatizing for me a couple years ago. Um, it was pretty bad for me and this is how I dealt with it. This is how I worked my way through it. it was this book and these mantras and these pain points. And sometimes I didn't even know what emotion I was dealing with. And But I knew I just had something stuck in there. And so I would just stand and say, okay, where do I feel pain? Where do I feel discomfort? And I would find that point look it up in the book, see what emotion it was stem, you know, relating to, which always seemed to make sense. And then I would grab the oil that, that, re that I needed for that um, pain point, and I would say the mantra for that pain point, and I just worked my way out of it from one emotion to the other. And um, that's how I became, how I worked my way out of it. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions or have any interest, and working with me on some pain points, um, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you out. All right, hope you have a good one. Peace out.